What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. After learning how to add tags, annotation, text, dimensions. So in this exercise, we're going to create an HVAC sheet metal legend. Okay, so using the model-based legend components, annotation symbols, line work, and notes in Revit 2022. So as you can see, we have here our mechanical legend sheet. So we will be adding our uh, legend here. So let's say, for example, our uh, diffuser legend. And then we are going to modify uh, this uh, legend here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a legend. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so the legend here in Revit is really manual work. Okay, so there is no... There is no automation in creating the legend here in Revit. So it's purely manual, okay? So sorry to disappoint you guys, but legends in Revit are, you know, really manual. Okay, so to do this, so let's go to the View tab, and then let's look for the legend, okay? So aside from that, you can also go to the Project Browser and look for the legends here. You can right-click the legends, and then you can select new legend okay so you have a couple of ways to create legends so first on the view tab so there's the legends so select legend or just right click the legend there and then select new legend okay and then you just need to put the name here so let's say for example we are going to create a diffuser legend okay and then you can also specify here the scale. So in my case, I'm just going to use this scale here, the default scale. So I will select here, OK. And then there you go. So you just created now your legend. So this legend, you can insert this multiple times inside your sheet. OK, so inside your sheet, you can insert your legend multiple times. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you also how to insert your legend inside your sheet. Okay, so after creating our legend view, so let us now create our legend title. So simply by selecting the text here, just click the text. And then if you have others, uh, other style for your text, so let's say, for example, for this one, I'm going to use a 1 fourth inch Arial. So that's, that's the type of the text that, I'm, that I like. And then I'm going to use here, no leader. So pick the first point and then just specify the name. So let's say this will going to be your diffuser legend. Okay, and then just click outside and then select modify to terminate it. Okay, there you go. Now we are going to add model element detail components. So how to do that? So you need to go to the annotate tab, look for the detail panel, and then look for the component drop down. Here you can see your legend component. Okay, so you click the legend component, and then here on our options bar, there's a family here that you can click the drop down arrow so you can select the family that you would like to uh, insert in your legend. So let's say, for example, I want to add here my supply diffuser rectangular. Supply diffuser rectangular, let's say 24 by 24. 8 neck okay so i will select this one supply diffuser and then i'm just gonna place it uh, let's say somewhere here there you go okay and then i want to add more diffuser so this time so let's say i want a return diffuser so i will select that one and then i'm gonna put it here and then i want to select another one so let's say exhaust grill so i select that one and then I want to put it here. Okay. And what else? So let's say I want to have a sidewall. Okay. Let's say where's the sidewall? This one. So I will select this one. And then I will just place it here. There you go. Okay. If you want to tidy up your legend, you want that to be aligned, you can go to the modify tab. And let's try to use the align tool here. Align, and then let's, okay, so in this case, we cannot click any uh, center line here on our diffuser. Okay, so maybe what we can do is, okay, so let me just, oops, sorry. Let me just try to align. How about the side? Okay, we cannot select the side here. Yeah, can't select that side. 
okay you can select that side so how about I'm just gonna we'll drag this until it aligns like that instead of using the align tool just drag your uh, component there you go okay all right so now after that we're going to put the name here to identify what is this particular diffuser so we are going to put the text so let's click the text click the drop down arrow so this one I will use 1 8 inch aerial select that one and then I'll just pick it here okay so this will gonna be my supply diffuser okay then select modify so that's it again you can click that one you can use the arrow on your keyboard to tidy up and then you can select that one you can copy and I'll use multiple option there so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick somewhere right here I'm gonna pick somewhere here I'm gonna pick somewhere right here I'm gonna pick uh, here there you go okay so now let's change this one so this will gonna be our return diffuser and then we use our exhaust grill and then click outside and then this one is our uh, side wall supply diffuser okay okay then modify and there you go now the next part of the exercise is we're going to edit an existing legend and then we're going to create a legend symbol okay so how to do that so I'll go to the project browser and then let me just I'll, I'll, I will just expand the mechanical legend sheet here to see what are the legends that is inserted in this sheet okay so as you can see we have this how many legend one two three four five okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open one of the legend here which is this one the duct condition which is also this one here so this uh, legend is inserted inside this uh, sheet here so I'm gonna open this uh, legend and then let me just modify this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one hold control to select the other elements okay then I'm gonna copy that copy and then I will use this as my base point and then I'm just gonna place it there then modify okay and then after that let me just modify this I will delete this one I will delete these three lines and then let's say I'm gonna mirror this break line so I will select that one mirror and then I'm gonna select this at my as my axis and then select modify and there you go okay and what else let me just select this line here hold control and then select the other line Currently, the line style is wide line, so I want to change that to thin line. Okay, this one. Click that one, okay, and then just click outside. So it's now uh, thin line. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert here a symbol. Okay, so to do that, just go to the annotate tab, and then you click the symbol there. You click that one. And then check the properties and then look for the symbol that you would like to insert so let's say I want the spot elevation so you can search from here and type it so I'm gonna use this one spot elevation target field and then I'm gonna put it somewhere here there you go and then I'll just select here modify now let me just put text here so maybe I'll just copy this one copy that and then put one here modify I do not like that arrow so I'm gonna select the text remove last leader there you go so let's say this will gonna be my E okay 
then I'll just copy that one and then I'm gonna put one here this will gonna be my say N there you go and then I'm now gonna change the text here okay so let me update the text double click control A to select all and then I'm gonna type here connect new doc to existing the letter E dot okay there you go and then if I'm going back to the mechanical legend here I double click this one so as you can see it's now updated here okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the legend view that I have created a while ago the diffuser legend right so I'll just go back again to the project browser and then look for the diffuser legend and then you just need to drag and drop that just drag and drop inside the sheet and then just put it here and then select modify so as you can see it's now added here on our sheet okay so I can click that one I can move it down left or right and then if you select your legend here if you select the viewport you can see if you select it you will notice that your title line here it will uh, enables you to drag that to resize your title line okay so if you click outside so it will disappear so that's what you do if you want to resize the size of your legend the title of your legend or the title of any sheet or any view that you have put inside the sheet you need to select first the viewport and then you can use that blue node to resize it okay now if you want to move your uh, view title separately from your viewport you need to click it separately okay you click that one and then there you go you can now move it but if you want to move your uh, title, your view title, and then your viewport at the same time, you need to click the viewport, and then that's the time you can now drag it or move it. So you can move it at the same time. But if you only want to move the title, just click the title separately, and then you can now drag that or move it. Okay? Now, for this one, I do not, I do not want to have a title. Okay, because I already have a title there so I'm going to select the viewport select the properties and then from the type selector you click that one and then I can select here no title there you go then just click outside and there you have it so we just created our legend and modify an existing legend to create a symbol okay so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.